sales, all this guy issues. I'm telling you, this man does not give up. How old is he? I don't know what he's thinking, but the second he lost his wife, he's been fucking up. Chris Sales. If you haven't seen my last video on Chris Sales, you can go ahead and click onto that and you will know what's been going on with him lately. Other than that, something just happened and April 9th, he was arrested. I don't know for what, but we're going to find out. I'm scrolling through and there's a lot of people already posting about what's going on. I wanna know what he got arrested for. Cause this man knows what jail is. He's familiar with it. I don't think I've reacted to Melanin Monroe yet. If I'm pronouncing it right, I think so. But she is a T-Page. And she did upload a video called, Chris Sales Arrested Again. Queen Nyjah looking for her son. Okay, that, that sounds fucked up. A mother is looking for her son while the baby daddy's fucking locked up, okay? Chris Sales, nothing, nothing is surprising with you. But it's sad to see that Queen is looking for her son and doesn't know where the hell he is. We're gonna go ahead and react because I am so curious to know what's going on. And I'm sure y'all are too if you haven't seen it already. So let's go ahead and watch. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanie Monroe. Another day, more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about your boy, Chris Sales, yet again. Yes, Chris this man arrested y'all this man this man cannot keep his damn hands to himself or his pee pee to himself neither <laughs> i don't know y'all let's just get into the video so it looks like chris sales was arrested sometime to so he is 24 years old it's normal for young adults to get into some trouble but you have kids man when you have kids you gotta think twice. It's not about you no more. It's about your child. Selfish, selfish. Today at the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, he had a warrant mm. for aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury. Okay. Now in Texas, aggravated assault consists of using or exhibiting a deadly weapon in the course of committing an assault crime, including threatening another with bodily injury or engaging in conduct that the victim likely will find offensive. Queen posted. Okay, so it was a warrant. So he had this out for him for a while. A big YouTuber, you would think the cops would know where he's at at all times, but apparently not. But they finally got him. Uh, post and delete on her Instagram story. It said, I need my son now. Whoever has my son, contact me now. If you guys know who Chris be around and with, DM me. Damn. I cannot locate my son. Nobody is answering. <laughs> Are you serious right now? That queen has to go on social media to look for her son because nobody is answering her. I don't know how long she was looking for him, but if you have to post something like that, you were looking for him for a while. And Chris, you would think once you got arrested, you know, you had that one phone call. That one phone call. You know what you should have done? Because you're about to leave your son somewhere and with somebody. Either call Queen yourself, let her know the situation and where her son is, and then tell Queen to get in contact with somebody you know to let them know where you're at in case you need help to be bailed out. Second option, you could have called the person you left your son with. Tell them to call Queen. Let them know where her let her know where her son is. But no, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna think about yourself. So like I said, aggravated assault is when you intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly cause serious bodily injury to someone else. You exhibit it or use a deadly weapon during the offense. This includes threatening someone else with bodily injury <laughs> or exhibiting behavior that the victim would reasonably find offensive. Now, a deadly weapon doesn't have to be a gun or a knife it or could be a your fork hands. or anything, you know, that would usually if you're come a boxer. to mind. It could be simply anything. Like, literally, I could throw the remote at somebody and that could be considered a deadly weapon. So, right. 
There's no telling what Chris used as a deadly weapon or if he just said something and threatened somebody. You know, he's already on thin ice. So, it sounds like he got into an altercation with somebody and he either threatened to beat the hell out of somebody or he beat the hell out of somebody. But with Chris's track record, it seems like he probably beat the hell out of somebody. I don't know, y'all. Comment down below how you feel. That's crazy. I feel like Chris know good and damn well this is not the time to be going to jail. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Like, literally, a pandemic. So now Queen is all the way in Atlanta trying to Worry. figure out how the hell she's going to get to CJ or Worry. get CJ back to her during this pandemic because you can't grow up and keep your damn hands to yourself. I said, And not only that, I also saw from other videos that this man was going on road trips during this time going to a spa with a group of people, mind you, not practicing social distancing, not wearing masks, nothing, with their son in the pool along with them. He used to be a good father. I don't know what happened. Time and time again that Chris is a good dad, but Chris makes some horrible mm. decisions. Chris needs some serious help. I feel like this time he's gonna land himself in some serious trouble because he's already in trouble. He's already on thin ice. Texas is not the place to play around with the law. They didn't gave him slap on the wrist after slap on the wrist. Many now, times. This time, I feel like Chris might be in trouble. I don't know, you guys. Comment down below how you feel. That's crazy. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Until next time, beautiful people. <laughs> peace. All right, peace, girl. But I do want to know if Queen ever found CJ. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse around to see if she did. Let's see if there's a video out there. Cause I'm sure there is. I need an update. Cause this shit's bothering me right now. Okay, so there's a video by Char and Rod. We're not gonna react to the whole thing. We're just gonna scroll through. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Here to report some sad sad. One time, point in time earlier today, Queen Naja was looking for her son. We're not sure if something happened at that store. Th that store? Wait, so it's not a warrant? It's something that actually happened the day of? I don't know, I'm confused, but the man's locked up. That's all I know. So Queen says people gonna have a rude awakening when they get a letter from an attorney. Better chill, okay? This is not the first time Chris has been arrested. He was also arrested for impersonating the cops. Which okay. that I know because okay. he's a dumbass. I mean, Chris just keeps Who doing does the shit same like this? Over and over and over again. Chris also was accused for assaulting his um, ex-girlfriend, Parker McKenna. Which I believe. Um, and this is allegedly, and, and he went to jail for this as well. Um, so maybe it's not allegedly because he did do jail time for it. But anyways, um, he was accused for assaulting Parker. So this is not the first time baby CJ has been um, in the custody of his dad and his dad has been arrested. And it's just sad because Chris' life has just gone downhill since... Him and Queen broke up. That's what I said, girl. Thank you. That's what I said. He needed a good woman by his side to get his shit together. He had it. Then he lost it. And look where he's at. In jail. All the time. <laughs> I don't know how she found out, but she says in the title that there's an update about Queen finding CJ. And nothing that I, I didn't see any of that in this video, so. I guess he was found. I don't know, but I, I hope so. Chris. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it might get to the point where Chris is gonna have to have supervised visitation with his son. He has too many people around him. He's out and about bringing his son around. He hits these women in front of him. He gets locked up when his son is under his care. I don't know, man. He's fucking up. That's all I have to say. Tell me what you think. Is he fucking up as a father? Or do you still consider him a great father? He's just, he's just making mistakes. You tell me. By the end of the day, CJ's the innocent one here and it's gonna affect him. Just saying. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.